Greetings and salutations from Lone Wolf Custom Painting. Hey, we got some good news. Uh, we did a little test drive on a new product. And this product not only is a boon to the model car world, but also to the military world and the model railroaders. Now we all know that uh, testers screwed the pooch. Uh, oops, the old man was right about that. <coughs> But anyways, enough of that. Let's go with the good. Michael Guest from MCW has is in the process thereof of releasing a how would I put it? All right. Eventually, it will be 1500 color uh, enamel line. Uh, he got a hold of me. He said, "Old oh, man, you know, you want to test drive this." and see what you think of it and give your opinions. Uh, he sent me several different variations of reducers and whatnot and we tried it out. So first things first, this was shot with uh, the Seafoam Turquoise Metallic Enamel. Okay, um, The particulars of this, okay, it's five dollars a bottle. All right. Uh, it is 17 milliliters as compared to the 14 and a half the testers used to offer. Those of you that use my method, you're in hose. Now I use this at 3 to 1, which was 3 parts paint, 1 part thinner. And I also did it my way of the 2 to 1. Both work excellent. So I also played with it a little bit just to make sure that it was compatible, the clear was compatible with uh, some of the things that I do. Now this particular color is the turquoise seafoam, but I added Pearl X to the clear. Now this, aside from that little mark there, this is untouched. This has not been wet sanded or polished up. And this is the end result. Uh, now the body, did I go too fast? Okay. <laughs> Sorry Jake. <laughs> now this has been wet sanded and polished. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Now I left this off, believe it or not, from the test shots that Mike has sent me, um, this stuff is unreal when it comes to brushability, which will help out all the way across the spectrum, cars, military, and model railroading. But uh, I just, and it happens. You know, you're polishing out, you burn through on the high points, well, you don't get any higher than what these door hinges are. And I touched it in with this, and you can't tell the difference. Now the frame also has not been touched. It's virgin as of yet. Um, very little orange peel. Uh, the clear goes on smooth as glass, flashes out. That's another thing too about this product. Half hour after I shot this at a two to one ratio, I'm sorry, three to one ratio on this particular piece, uh, I was able to take it off the pipe nipple take it over, put it in a dehydrator, fire the dehydrator up. It was dry to the touch. Now I'm not suggesting you take a thumb and press it against the door panel. I'm not promising you know, what's going to happen with that. But uh, Mike and I agree that it takes about four hours for this just to dry and it's done. Now, So you can start working it in four hours? Um, I wouldn't suggest it. it. Okay. I really wouldn't suggest it. There's yeah. really no, no reason, reason to hurry. Um, I never understood that concept as it was, Jake. I really don't. Uh, but the thing of it is, it flashes out quick, it drives hard, and as you can see, you know, there's no loss of detail whatsoever. Now, this was shot using Mike's slow reducer. And it was shot at a two to one ratio. Now you'll have to excuse the little, I was shooting more for uh, <laughs> product working ability 
rather than cleanliness. Um, as you can see, as always with enamel, you know, win-win out of the gun, you got to shine. Uh, this dried within 15 to 20 minutes using the uh, sunny side lacquer thinner method that I do. Now, this, I'm sorry, the reducer, I apologize. This was shot with the two to one method that I use with the sunny side lacquer thinner. As you can see, it's a little dry, but that's to be expected and accepted with metallics with the lacquer thinner. A simple wet sand and then you clear coat and it comes out looking like a glass mirror. Uh, the clear itself, there's no amber to it. It is what it is. It is as clear as a bell. And like I said, the way that this dries, what she got, anything good? Okay. This is what happens when you get a 10 month old puppy running around the house. She gets into things that she's not supposed to get into. All right, enough of that. Welcome to my world. By the time this is all said and done, there will be over 1,500 colors. Mike has purchased the camera. Take a picture of a color. The camera translates over to a computer system. The computer writes out exactly what he needs to do to achieve this color, and he mixes it up. At this time, as of yesterday, actually this morning, there is around about 25 to 27 colors, both car and military colors, right now that he has mixed, bottled, ready to go. The clear is ready to go, the slow reducer is ready to go, should you choose to go that route. This guy took a step up, walked out onto a very, very thin limb. It's an excellent product, it covers well, using my method, I have no complaints, you don't miss a beat. And I can assure you that there's quite a few people that I know that are going to be very, very happy about this. By the time this is all said and done, 1,500 colors offered will be probably a distant memory. Um, with this camera and with this spectrum, uh, spectrum camera and the computer set up, the sky's the limit color-wise. Um, he'll be able to bring up any color uh, for any year of any make model that's Detroit's put out in the last umpteen number of decades. Now here's my suggestion. You've got a guy that stepped up and filled a void. Okay, Take advantage of it. Now, if it dries this quick with standard gloss enamel, think how fast it's going to dry when you take the flats and you cut it with the lacquer thinner. I'm saying 5-10 minutes, easy. You'll be able to handle it. No more playing around, worrying about the whether or not you're going to have brush strokes or anything else like that. The test shots that I've seen, there's no brush strokes either. Whether it be gloss, or whether it be flat. Uh, I've noticed a lot as of late in worlds other than just the car hobby where guys have been raising hell about the acrylics. Well, Mike's filling a void. We need to step up. You need to step up and support the aftermarket. Just my suggestion, just my opinion. Um, very viable product. It's got A plus 10 rating 100% whatever you want to apply to this and if you remember correctly anything that comes out of this shop information wise it's been tested dozens of times there was a plethora of pieces that I tried this on trying different things and what I have just told you about this is the best way to do this and the product as you can see that hasn't been touched that's not a bad base to work with. All right. Contact Mr. Guess at MCW Paints. This is the old man from Lone Wolf Custom Painting. Y'all have a blessed week. God bless. I'm out.